pairs in Kingston and the other pairs in Sudbury. <laughs> And they don't come cheap either. A set of blades for speed skates run you anywhere from $300 to $1,000 for a pair of blades. No, there's a short track. And they're good for about three years. And then the, 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 it's a compound steel and you get down to the steel that's soft because when the kids are, are competing, they sharpen their skates after every race. Yeah, it's about the same, almost the same price. Um, I meant to bring the Lee Valley catalog with me. I, I actually own an 8,000, but it doesn't live at my house. It, it, it gives you a, a really a mirror finish. And that is done. And it'll... That's sharp. Oh, good. Mike will let me buy it if I show that. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? I have another one here that's totally dull if you want me. Yeah, where, where do you find them on Lee Valley site like under shopping zones? Yes. Which one are you talking about? You just go to the. Uh, the Waterstones? Waterstones, yeah. Those, those, those. The King Waterstones are the ones I use. Okay, your basic stone set there. That is. So there you go. Seventy dollars for the set. Seventy dollars for the two stones. Right. It's seventy dollars for the set. Okay. Three quarters. Curved blades? No, mine are all. But actually, this one has a, a camper. So, and it's. I haven't used it yet, but they say with the plain blades, if you use the camper, it doesn't dig in in the corners. It gives you a much softer. So, Dale, that set with the pond is only sixty-five dollars. Is it with $65 and they give you the pond and the stones? No, you don't, no, you don't get the stones with it though. Okay. So it's just the pond itself <coughs> and the accessories that go along with it. And with, with the accessories, they give you a sheet of glass for, for um, <coughs> you, get, you get a sheet of glass for doing your, dressing your stones and you get grit. Now this one is really, really rough. You see how long it takes to sharpen it. It won't take long. Tight enough. 
the figure tight it but when you go to take it off you can't get it loose I have a tendency myself I'll wait until I have about four or five chisels that need sharpening and I just go to the basement, sit in front of the TV, and sharpen chisels. I have about three or four different sets of chisels. on this chisel wasn't 30 degrees. So you can see I'm having to work at it. chisel. I'm going to abandon that until I find out what I've done wrong. I didn't have any trouble with this one. It's called a new technology. <coughs> any questions? Yes. I don't have my good ch chisels here. These are just craftsmen. These are craftsmen. Um, my good chisels are uh, maple blue chips. Yeah. I bought them about 18 years ago. Five chisels were three hundred twenty-five dollars at that time. My kids, my kids always say, "How can you never use those chisels? They all look brand new." <laughs> For one, they never use them, <laughs> and they're always kept in a case, in a cloth case. You say good chisels, but not so good chisels. Steel. Just like plain blades. I like to buy old plain blades. If I can find a plain blade that's pre World War II, that plain blade will keep an edge three times longer than a new one. Doesn't matter how good they say they are, the old ones are always a better steel. No, that one's 
I don't know what it is about that chisel. Oh, this one here has a piece oh, of rubber. That, oh, that's what it this is. This has that, a piece that, of rubber. That one. No. But this one didn't slip, but this one did. Could be I have to clean the edges. But that's basically it. You've seen this one got sharp, and my plane blade, and my naked arm. <laughs> Any other questions? How often would you sharpen your chisel? Do you sharpen it after you use them? Um, after I've used them, I will check to see if they're still sharp. They won't take the hair off my arm. Then if I'm doing something really fine, then I'll sharpen them. If I'm just doing hack and slash work, I'll just use them until they look dull. Okay? If, if it looks dull, you probably don't have to use the rough stone, but I have a tendency to do it anyways. Sometimes you can just get away with just the two stones. As soon as you get chips in them, you've got to go right back to square one. Right? I see you're talking about glass, retrieving leveling your stone. Yeah. I read somewhere recently where somebody uses granite. They slap it down like you would a can of puppies. Well, the nice thing about glass is it's cheap. You got to buy plate glass. The thicker, the better. Um, I was able to get a whole pile of plate glass from somebody that was re putting some new windows in. The old Hollywood windows had quarter-inch plate glass. I probably have a lifetime supply now. So if anybody needs glass, just let me know. I'll just cut them off a piece and. If you went to, a, um, you went to a glass place to get plate glass, piece sixteen by twenty probably cost you twenty dollars. Okay. Anything else? Thank you.